Hey YouTuber, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to get uh, Adobe Photoshop uh, for free. It's an um, earlier version of Adobe Photoshop, but nevertheless it's free and it's uh, it can be used. Uh, I'm running Windows uh, 10 right now and I've been download I downloaded it about a month ago and I've uh, been using it since and uh, it, it does work. So um, follow along. Uh, basically what you're going to have to do first uh, is go to adobe.com and sign up, create a profile and sign up for an account. Uh, that's really the only way to download this. Uh, once that's done, you'll have to go to this particular uh, site, which will be down in the description. It's uh, by Adobe. Uh, it's basically other downloads uh, that Adobe has, and um, this is the suit that they have. So Creative Suit 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, 5.5, and 6. Uh, 2 is the only one that's free right now. Um, so just go ahead and double click on CS2. And uh, as you can see here, there's a little disclaimer. It basically says Adobe has disabled the activation server for CS2 products. That means that uh, they're not, they're no longer activating serial numbers for CS2 products. Uh, this includes uh, Acrobat 7 because of technical issues, so on and so forth. Uh, this product were released more than seven years ago and do not run on many modern operating systems. Adobe no longer supports them. Um, Adobe strongly advised against running unsupported and outdated software. Uh, only customers will, who leg legitimately purchase CS2 or Acrobat 7 and need to maintain their current use of these products may use the serial number provided during the download. So uh, with that, uh, I want you guys to read this, uh, understand it, and once you have, um, uh, go ahead and click accept, and once you do that, a drop down appears and you know you just want to pick um, the language of your choice English uh, it would be mine and whoops um, it's uh, a drop down so you're not going to be able to copy and paste so um, go down to the product of your choice in my case it would be a photo CS2 there's also others like Illustrator and uh, After Effects, uh, Acrobat Pro 7 that you can download for free. So, um, but in this particular tutorial, it's just Photoshop CS2. So you can see here there's uh, the operating system Mac or Windows. Um, so just choose whichever it is that you want uh, and need. In my case, it's going to be uh, Windows. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this and install it. And while it's installing it right here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause this video and come back once it's done. But uh, before I do that, I uh, just want to let you guys know that the serial number is right over here. Okay. So once this is done and you installed it and asked you for a serial number, Go ahead and put in the serial number depending on your operating system uh, and then continue your uh, installation. So I'll be right back, folks. All right, folks, I'm back. Um, now, once you downloaded the installer, uh, go ahead and just double click on the installer and get it started. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and yes through this. Um, it's going to create a folder. Yes. And just kind of go through the installation. Um, I downloaded it before, so I'm just going to go ahead and say yes to all to overwrite files. Alright, so you'll get this uh, screen here. It says you want to install Adobe Photoshop. Just go ahead and press next uh, and then accept. And, uh, you know, put in your username if you want. You don't have to. Uh, well, actually, you do have to put something in here, but um, uh, you don't have to uh, put in your real. It's not registering anything, so. Um, I mean, it doesn't really matter uh, what your username is. So uh, just put something in, and then your serial number, just go ahead and copy it from the website uh, in the link below. Uh, in this case, for me, it's going to be Windows Operating System, and this is the um, 
uh, serial number. Unfortunately, you can't uh, copy paste it, so you have to enter it um, by hand. All right, and just go ahead and next that, and this is just basically file association. Um, you can change this if you want, but I'm going to keep it the default. Next, and install. All right, it looks like it is complete. Uh, show the refile. You can if you want. I'm not. Uh, and finish. Um, don't think it will pop up on its own, so I'm just going to go here and just type in Adobe. There it is, CS2. Double click on that, and here you go, folks. Your free version of Adobe Photoshop CS2. If you like the video, subscribe and like, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.